Hi guys, and I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, however you spent it. I hope you guys had a fantastic time. This year is completely different from other years, but I know that um, I'm very grateful for the things that I was able to get other people, as well as the things that I received this Christmas. Now, my family and I decided to keep things really, really simple and small this year. Because we're in a global pandemic, I wanted to show you guys the little things that I've gotten. Now this is not everything that I've gotten, but I just wanted to show you kind of like my favorite things that I've gotten so far and show you guys no way, shape, form um, bragging. I just like seeing these videos on YouTube. I love watching Steph Pappas's um, video that she does this. It's like a tradition that she does. Every single year she shows her Christmas presents and um, I think I might show you guys like if you guys are interested in this, I'll show you guys a video of like what, I've, what I got other people. I already like gave presents away, but I can show you like screenshots and things that I've gotten um, with like pictures and stuff. But I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I received for Christmas. I will start with my sister. Um, actually, I'll start with myself. I ended up buying this for my whole family. Um, Bath and Body Works had a huge sale on their three wicked candles and I figured why not go and get some so I ended up getting six of them now these retail for $24.50 now I got six of those and I basically would have spent maybe like $150 on these but with the sale I ended up getting them uh, all six of these candles for $50. It was originally like $63, but I had $10 off. So, yeah, I ended up getting all these candles for only $10 or like a little under $10 because I got six of them and I only spent around $50. So, that is really nice. Uh, I ended up getting the watermelon lemonade candle. Absolutely love this one. It smells super good. It literally smells so good. I know that they have perfumes in this like lotions which I never really knew until I went and saw these and it's a scented candle with essential oils and I love essential oils so that was one that I picked out my sister and I actually picked that out one uh, together this is literally for the house so this is a gift for everyone I know my mom loves candles and I figured this would be a really really nice thing and we love Bath and Body Works I'm obsessed with Bath and Body Works I have a huge collection. I have a huge collection of Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers, body lotions, sprays. I have an obsession with Bath and Body Works. So if you guys want to sponsor me, Bath and Body Works, I literally, my whole paycheck goes to you. I also picked out this one next. My sister actually picked out this one. It is the Black Cherry. Merlet, Merlot, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if it will focus. There we go. So the black cherry, Merlet, Merlot, I don't know how to pronounce that. But that's what it looks like. It's also made with essential oils. And this one smells really, really good. I think I like the watermelon lemonade just a little bit better. I do have the black cherry um, in like lotions and sprays. I think I have it in the spray, not the lotion. My sister might have it in the lotion. We also really like these in soaps. I literally, when I tell you, I buy everything at Bath and Body Works. I have their lotions, their sprays, hand sanitizers, soaps, accessories to hold like your hand sanitizers. I want to get the ones to hold the soaps. When I tell you now, I have their candles, body wash, loofahs. I'm telling you, I have an obsession. So this is the one that my sister ended up picking out and I think um, this one I'm going to end up giving to her because she asked for it. The third one that I picked out was Fresh Cut Lilacs. I want to say I think this one is one of my favorites. This one is also scented candle with essential oils. When I smell this, let me tell you, this literally smells like my Nana's house. She'd always have flowers on her porch. She'd always have just flowers in general. She'll always have like fresh cut lilacs. Um, like she'll always have a candle and it'd always be like a flowery scent candle. So this really reminds me of my Nana. And since she's not here with us today, 
um, this was I thought a really really nice reminder that this is basically her old house so I thought that was really really nice um, I think that one's my absolute favorite I ended up finding this one this is my mom's favorite scent so I ended up getting the mahogany teak wood and this one is a manly smell but like I feel like man like scents are really really nice yeah, this one smells like literally like cologne. This one also is made, made with essential oils. We have these and the soaps, and I absolutely love this one. This one and the white tea and sage, I think, are my favorite soaps to use. Um, yeah, these are my favorite soaps to use. Yeah, I love this one. This actually smells like my grandma's house, so this is like really, really nice. The other one I got, the fifth candle. We ended up getting just kept it simple. This one also has essential oils. And we got linen sheets. And this one. Yeah, this one smells really nice too. It kind of smells like just like it has a clean feel. So I'll read all of the ones as well. Like what they have in them in case you guys like like them. The last candle is the mahogany coconut one this one was the last one and this one also has essential oils oils in it if you guys hear a squeaky noise it's the chair that I'm on it just keeps squeaking and just ignore that because yeah but this one also has essential oils this one has more this one compared to the mahogany teak wood has more of a coconut the mahogany teak wood has like a stronger smell. This one has less mahogany teak wood and more kind of like a coconut feel. So this one, I actually was talking to um, a employee there. Everyone there is so nice. I go to this one specific store and everyone is just super, super nice. And I was talking to a store employee and I picked up this one and she necessarily didn't like this smell but I knew I was gonna get this smell because my mom loves this smell and as a candle I figured this would be perfect so she was like you know what there's this candle that is similar to this candle but it has more of a coconut feel um, so she was looking all over the place for it and she's like yeah we must be totally out and she even looked out um, in the drawers because they have extra candles which I never knew but she was looking so hard for this candle this one right here and I ended up going to a different section of the store where they had even more candles which I didn't know because they had just a candle um, section in the front like right when you walk in because they had their candle sale and I saw this on the very very top shelf the last one and I was like oh like it was an employee that was taller than me because I'm literally only 5'2 five 5'2 two. Five two, five three. I don't know like I'm short and I asked her, I was like, oh, hey, like, I know you're a little taller than me, if you don't mind, can you just grab this, like, candle at the top of the shelf, like, uh, you know, and then, um, she ended up grabbing it, everyone's so nice at that store, literally, I'll only go to that store now, because they're so freaking nice, and I know one of the employees there, but, um, they got this, and I'm like, oh my god, this smells really good, I have to get this one as well, because my mom also loves coconut, so I ended up getting this one, I actually went to the other employee that, help me try to find this I was like uh, when I was after I cashed out I was walking out she was at the door where like you she would sanitize everyone that comes in and I, she's like oh how did you make out I'm like girl I made out so good but I was like you know the candle that you told me about and that we just could not find I think I found it and then she's like oh really I was like yeah I pull it out of my bag I was like is this the candle that you were telling me about she was like yeah that's the candle I was telling you about and I was like oh my god it smells so good she was like right so I ended up getting these candles there's another gift that I got myself but it ties into other gifts so I'm gonna save the best for last which is such a meaningful gift so I'm gonna save that for last so my sister ended up giving me so she got me candy she got me Sweet Tarts, Chewy. Now, I haven't had these since, I want to say, high school, maybe middle. I, I would always eat these in middle school because one of my friends at the time loved these and she would always eat them. Um, and let me just show you what they look like in case people don't 
know what they look like. So these are what they look like. And they are really, really, I think they're yummy. I'll have one now. I don't remember them being this chewy though. My sister also got me Genie Mint Peppermint Crunch. Sorry, I still have the food in my mouth. Okay, I had to, I had to take that out. Um, I had to take the candy out of my mouth. <laughs> but my sister ended up getting me the Genie Mints Peppermint Crunch, and I'm been obsessed with these. They sell these at my work, and I knew that this was only like a Christmassy kind of like holiday treat. So I ended up getting a ton of them, and then I ended up going to Christmas tree shop just to get a couple other items, and then I found them for even cheaper. So I got them as well there, and then I found out they had them at the dollar store too. So I have a ton of these, and my sister got them for me as well, and I am literally obsessed with these. I would always get Junior Mints when I went to the movies. These with popcorn, buttered popcorn. I'm obsessed. So I have these, and... I'm obsessed with these as well. And then she also got me plugging bath and body works. I've wanted to try this. I have this in the spray and the lotion, but I did not get this in shower gel. And I've been obsessed with shower gel. Now I have sensitive skin. Let me tell you, when I so I'm I have really sensitive skin. So using like lotions using whatever hand sanitizers like i don't even know how to describe it i just have really really sensitive skin i had a lot of allergies growing up and my body i also had a skin condition so having sensitive skin is very very difficult at times but i've noticed that bath and body works has been amazing and for the longest time, I've always wanted to use shower gel and like body wash. And I never had the chance to do that because I would always have, I would always break out with so many things because my body was so sensitive. I've finally tried the saltwater breeze that I got myself because I got a bunch of my stuff for myself. If you want to see a whole video of things that I got myself for Christmas, let me know, comment that down below because I got, I spoiled myself. I never spoil myself, I always spoil other people, but I've already, I've been starting to learn that I really need to love myself and treat myself, so I spoiled myself. But I ended up getting the Saltwater Breeze body wash and or the shower gel and I'm obsessed. It does not break out my body, it literally leaves me moisturized and smooth. I love it to death. So my sister ended up getting me this which is in the stars. She got me a little travel sized one. Um, not that I'm gonna be traveling anytime soon. But I figured this would be perfect. I figured this would be perfect because I wanted to test it out. And it smells so good. I've already opened it because I wanted to, you know, like smell it. To go back to the candles, I just realized. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. So, okay, so the the mahogany coconut. I'm gonna go down the line of how I did it. The mahogany coconut has creamy coconut, mahogany woods, English lavender, with essential oils. So that is this one. Then we're gonna go to the mahogany teak wood, which is this one. And this one has rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak. Frosted lavender with essential oils. Ooh, frosted lavender with essential oils. I didn't actually think that was a thing, frosted lavender, but that actually sounds really good. So we're gonna go down the line and linen sheets is next. There we go, and then this one has fresh ocean air, Anjou pear, I'm probably spelling it, saying that wrong. wrong. Um, violet petals in warm vanilla with essential oils. So that one's really nice. Then we'll go to black cherry, merlot, malay, I don't know how to pronounce that. Dark cherry, black raspberry, sumptuous merlot, merlay with essential oils. So that's fun. Fresh lilacs, I have to do this quick because my camera's gonna die. Uh, the fresh lilacs is lilac bou bouquets. I cannot speak for the life of me. 
uh, lilac bouquets, dewy greens, soft spring air with essential oils. Fun. The watermelon lemonade one, and the last one, watermelon ice, sparkling water. Ooh. Mayor lemon with essential oils. So that's the scents for that. My sister also got me two pink uh, Victoria's Secret scrunchies. I'm obsessed with their scrunchies. This is what they kind of look like in the light. This one's like a dark, uh, a lighter kind of blue, and this one's kind of like a, I don't even know, kind of. This is like a kind of like a darkish bluish green, and this one's kind of a bluish one. And I have the light blue one that I bought myself. And I have also a yellow one and I think one other one. So love these. I'm actually going to wear one actually now after the video. Um, my dad ended up giving me a card with some money in it. I know my sister is, this is hers, but that was with my present that I put back into this bag to bring everything up. So my dad ended up getting me money. And yeah, so that's it for my sister. Um, oh, other than actually false. If you know me, you know me. I love Friends, the TV show. I'm obsessed. I could tell you every single episode. Every time I watch it, I could literally say line to line. Um, she got me a Friends a thousand piece puzzle, and I absolutely love it. Is this upside down? No, okay. This was upside down, the back, but I love this. I said, I when I opened it, I was like, oh my god, this is from this movie. This, oh, this episode. This is from that episode. Um, yeah, so I love that. That's all that my sister got, other than one other small present that's a meaningful present, and I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. So then my mom got me these chocolate-covered pretzels, and I'm dying to try that. I'm going to share that with my sister. My mom also got me Russell Stover Caramel Marshmallow Candy. She also got me, as you guys can tell, I'm obsessed with Friends, and I've been into baking lately. So she got me Friends uh, Central Perk uh, Adjustable Apron, and I love this. Love it, I'm obsessed. And then she also got me some pajama pants. I have these in red, and she got me the green ones. Okay, so in the middle of recording um, that last thing of the Russell Stover candy, uh, no, the the pants, my camera died. So now I'm gonna use my phone just to finish the end of this video. So that is what my mom got me. Um, this last present, I know if only my camera stayed on for literally another five, three to five minutes. I have a Pandora bracelet and I asked every single one of my family members if you know the one thing i wanted for christmas is for them to pick a pandora charm for me do not tell me what it was just pick a charm that you think i would like that has meaning behind it so i told my family members to please just pick out a charm that it has a meaning behind it like i'm repeating myself at this point but basically what they did is that they picked out a charm they did not tell me what charm it was and um, they have a story behind it for each charm. So I'm gonna show you guys. So this is my Pandora bracelet. So like, this is the one I bought myself. I've always wanted, so like, I'm not religious, but I obviously like, without getting too much into it, I'm very spiritual. So I have always a cross on and I found this charm and it actually matches my necklace so every time i don't have my necklace on i'll at least have a cross and this is what it looks like okay so i decided to just show you guys up close because this i feel like is the best way you're gonna see the charms and then i like how it has that design on that so that is one charm that i bought myself now this charm is a charm that my father got me and this one has a lot of meaning behind it. This is, um, I like the little star circle that it has. My dad didn't actually um, think he was gonna come with that sapphire color, but um, that actually is funny because I'm a Libra and that is my birthstone color. So he didn't realize that that was going to be that, but it worked out perfectly because it literally 
is that's the color. So on the back of it, if I were to turn it over, it says dream it, wish it, do it. Now I'm huge into, you know, manifestation and I journal every single day and I wanted to be a single when I grew up and an influencer and be in the entertainment field. Hence me being on YouTube. I've always been on YouTube since December 18th, 2011. But um, he knows I have big dreams and that I wish for them every single day and I try to do it as, you know, manifestation. Like if you write things down and you dream it, you can wish things and it's the law of attraction. I'm very spiritual. So if you guys haven't heard of the law of attraction, we'll talk about that in another video if you're interested in it. But basically you manifest things and they happen and it can be both negative or positive. But yeah, and then I love the detail and the design on the charm like on the holder thing here i think that is beautiful so that is what my dad got me so my mom ended up getting me two charms this is the first one um story behind it is that my middle name is rose so this rose on this and it's on back as well so there's two roses and then there's two charms and it says first my mother forever my friend and i absolutely love this my mother is my best friend and i love how it has a rose my mom's grandmother her favorite flower was rose roses and my middle name is rose because of that and i love this detail and design um, the sparkles of like the diamond or crystal, whatever you want to call it. If it will focus, there we go. I find it super, super elegant and I absolutely love this one. The second charm that she got me is this heart charm and it is super nice. This is what it looks like with the flash on. It is so elegant. I love that it shows on the sides. It has like little hearts on the sides of it and it is literally so pretty you can see the shimmer the sparkle absolutely love this this one I actually knew that I was gonna get because I saw this and I was gonna buy it for myself and it was a really good sale and my mother actually saw it and was like oh I'll get this for you as well so this one's really really pretty I absolutely love it so this is the sister's charm. Um, my sister got this one for me. We are twins and she's literally my other half. So right now, I love this one. It has these pink, I love the design. It has like pink stars on it. I love that if I flip these over, it says, you don't always see them but they're always there. It's hard to see because I have the flash on, but I love that. And on the back of it, it shows even more stars. And on the charm itself, like the holder, um, it has more stars and it's super sparkly. And I absolutely love this charm, my sister. Like my whole family means a lot to me. So these charms are really meaningful. So the backstory on this is that even if we're not with each other, we'll always be there for each other. And I thought this was really, really, really special. So all these charms mean a lot to me. And this is what my bracelet looks like right now. I have to get more dividers so that I can um, hold a lot more and it not be all clustered together. And that it was just a little bit of what I got for Christmas. Because of the pandemic, I didn't really get to see as many people. And um, I only got to see my mom, my dad, and my sister. I wasn't thinking I was going to be able to see my dad um, just because of some things that were going on but I'm really really happy that I was able to see him. He stopped by and we just exchanged presents and we stayed safe. I didn't get to see any of the family members right now but I know I'm super grateful for everything that I've gotten. Um, on top of that I ended up buying myself a camera um, I think a month or about a month ago so I ended up getting this for myself and it was kind of like one of my Christmas presents to myself. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Today's shout out of the day 
is so i hope you guys had a very merry christmas and happy holidays i hope you guys stayed safe comment down below what your favorite present is and what your favorite part of the holidays was my favorite part of the holidays was just being able to relax and watch christmas movies with my family i loved seeing the reactions of the presents that i got my family members i'm obsessed with gift giving that's why like i'm really excited to do giveaways on this channel soon um, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I am going to start doing giveaways. So if you guys are interested in giveaways and want to participate in that, comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because you have to be subscribed in order to enter the giveaway. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a really, really nice giveaway. I'm so excited for this. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys had a fantastic holidays. Stay safe. Love you guys and stay positive.